Hi everyone, welcome to the next part of the tutorial reversing with HyperDVG. This tutorial is about tricks that we can use in HyperDVG debugger. So let's uh, see a brief outline of what we want to talk in this section. First, we see how lag open and lag close works in HyperDVG. Then we see some of the bash scripts that you can use in HyperDVG. And we see how we can uh, examine different processor features. Then we have p parsing. And we see how we can customize the builds of the HyperDVG and customize the things. Then we will see how HyperDVG can be used in DFIR community. We will see how ignoring events work. And at last, we will explore how to defeat some of the anti-debugging anti methods so let's see the first thing that we're gonna talk about is lag open and lag close uh, there are two commands same as uh, exactly same as windbg for creating logs from the debugger outputs uh, that you can use uh, these two commands uh, the first command is lag open uh, dot lag open uh, or this command gets file a uh, text file as its out as its uh, input and uh, will save the debugger whatever you type or whatever you uh, see in the debugger console uh, then it will be saved to the target file and after we finish we no longer need to save the debugger outputs we could use that lag close command to close the file and these commands uh, is uh, really uh, useful if you want to get a history of what what are what commands executed in the debugging session 